Hey, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Need for Speed, Most Wanted Pepega Edition. In the last episode we just defeated, actually we defeated, we did all the challenge and now we're able to face Sonic the Hedgehog in this next showdown with our Fiat Multipla. And here's the police. I really like this car, and Sonic is a character. <laughs> His car is so small. Let's go, Sonic! And the track's hitting hard again once more. Oh man, I could watch, listen to the sound like a whole day, I guess. I, I guess the, the whoever was the creator of all this music, he definitely should get featured and signed from Hollywood or something for the next blockbuster music. He definitely has some decent talent. So, Sonic isn't as fast as I thought he would be. Thought this would be a little bit of a challenge, but uh... Okay. Okay, maybe I should stop talking because the race is still really long, so um... Just one mistake and we're done and he's just outspeeding us. But he can't outspeed the pink sports car Fiat Multipla. Did, ever, did anybody ever try to beat the whole game with just a multiplayer? I assume it's possible, but... Why should you do this? Actually, why not? I mean... <laughs> oh man, this guy is so great. Sonic's not even close, we have almost 10 seconds of time advantage. Music's hitting, still really good. And the car makes a really good sound. And it's an easy Saturday morning for me, so... <sighs> I just feel great. I really feel great like, these days. And I'm so happy that I found... With these uh, Need for Speed Let's Plays, I found something I really enjoy. Wow, our advantage on Sonic is gone, I guess. I found something I really enjoy. And it's also something you really enjoy watching, so... Well, too easy, Captainator, you said before. We see how easy it is. I really feel great. Like, I really enjoy the sort of content producing it, and I guess you really enjoy watching it since the subs count is going on, the views are really good. I think we, uh, I think we got that driver from last time here. Let's at get some this cars point, there. I just have to say thank you to everybody who's watching. Making this possible. Okay, uh, we will have to turn right after the jump. VCB, we're VCB, you're closing on the last no direction. Um, okay. The whole uh, traffic just stopped because they're so shocked that we're here. I mean, they never seen Sonic the Hedgehog driving a car, which makes sense. Requesting 1073, I can't get this guy to slow down. Uh, go ahead. Why uh, should I slow down, bro? Bodies. You're the police. Right behind him. Go 3 chase. If they want to stop. Stop. Hand the time. Here we are, your winner. Next race, another little sprint. Oh, look at this car. Here we go, Sonic. What's this, the Java ends? Yes.
That was a little bit risky and dumb, but it somehow just kind of worked. Sleet Sonic's not way ahead of me. Come on, Sonic. You're faster than I should be, no? Just jump out of the car and run, no? This would be so epic if they implemented something like this. Matching racing against running Sonic. talking of content before is there some other race games you ever would like to see me playing doesn't have to be a whole let's play but I actually just know need for speed I never played a lot of other race games okay yes I tried ones like Formula One or stuff like that but yeah just a few races some Moto GP games but never really really played them much or something and I never have seen games like Forza or Gran Turismo I barely even played them so I don't know if you have something like that would you like to see like I, I mean I never I never played Burnout should I play Burnout? I heard that games like Burnout 3 or Revenge or I guess Paradise were some of the most amazing racing games ever. And I have tried it, so if you would like to see this in some future uploads, let me know. But first we're gonna pause and end this let's play here. Then, as I promised, there's still a... Uh, in production, aka I need to film it first, my apartment tour. Because now is everything is in the Pepega behind the mountain again. Wow. Uh, everything is installed and stuff, except that I haven't put all the foam on my walls in my gaming room, which I definitely want to finish before I film this. Just because if I film right now, there's just a bunch of. Oh, we could have taken this shortcut, but okay. If I film right now, there's just a bunch of little foam squares on the ground in my room, in my office, slash gaming room, so, uh, yeah. Definitely want to be a little bit ugly, no? So as soon as I installed this and that I'm back from, uh, my business trip next week, I'm definitely gonna try to finish that stuff. Oh, uh, by the way, Coach X party lost. I need to when I'm back from the ASAP. business trip on next weekend, I guess you're gonna see this episode here on Sunday, so it's okay. I'm not telling you stupid shit. Yep. Um, I will have a week of vacation, so I should definitely be able to produce content. Maybe a little bit more content that we have right now. Yes. We beat Sonic. Please be Pink Slip. Yeah, it's a fucking pink slip. Let's go. Money, bro. And money, bro. Wow, so much money. Nice speedo, mate. Okay. Unique custom gold. Unique eBay part. Riser kits. Oh, this could be cool. Depends on which one it is. And a button gear. You won't get to add that M3 GTR's transmission wine with this car, but you can upgrade it for free thanks to the Chunkman's transmission. Great news! So, finally defeated this Pepega. Camden Beach Borough has now been unlocked. Who's next? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> James May from Top Gear. Wow. He has an Alpine A110 and his strength is being slow. 
Many know him as Captain Slow, but after he got dropped from Amazon, has built, he's built himself some street creed. Due to his age, his reaction time is fairly slow, but his years of experience help to rem remedy that. Maybe it's finally time you send him to the to a retirement home. <laughs> Great news! What? The Dacia Sandero is almost here. When? Next year. Great! Now the talk. Good news! Because the Dacia Sandero is on sale in the UK and taking the nation by storm. Come on. Oh uh, God! You're back. Yeah. How is it? And Good fun. Here in the. Oh! Stop! Stop! Oh, God! This was so loud. Um. <laughs> oh man. The race results are in. Let's print them out. <laughs> what the fuck? Congratulations. <laughs> You've been the most Pepe good driver of the race. Thanks. I guess. So, first we want a quick head to the car lot since there are apparently new cars. Yep, we're gonna use that GPS again. And after the car, we just if we do not find something really funny for our garage. I mean, there could be other funny cars. The multiplayer definitely isn't the only one. But if we can find something, we will just tune our multiplier again. I guess we have enough money to tune all this stuff, so should be fine. Hello, Carlot. Carlot. Carla. Carla. Here we are. Thanks, GPS arrow. So, okay, that's clear. We have to test the Vayugo. And the Fiat Multiplier. What's the last one? It's the one we bought. Why is the top speed at the original better than the, the what we have right now? Oh. Okay. Also, the acceleration is better than what we have right now, no? No, the acceleration for it. It doesn't matter. Mazda MPV, Fiat Kunto. Wait, they, they call it Kunto! <laughs> oh man, that's funnier than what it should have been. They have interesting cars here. Oh, what a sweet car. Oh, they added the Audi R3. Lada Samara. Spishy Eclipse. Audi TT. 240 S S S X from Magus Pro Street. A4, a Clio V6. We already have that car. The Smart 42. We have for free the 240 S X because it's a good drift car. Okay. I mean, we have 100 cars here. That's so. Toyota Sprinter Cruey, no? Tesla? Oh, no, 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 no. It's the Cybertruck. Should we buy the Cybertruck? I mean, we have enough cash for buying it. We have the Supra, which is really cool. The Amar 2 GT. G35. The Supra again. Sylvia. Again. We have the Yaris. Yes, this car's great. Amar 2 GT again. Another one. And another Sylvia. Okay, and here we are blocked. I will say, I've just driven a Tesla like, I guess, two weeks ago. I had it for one weekend. And the acceleration of, a, of an electric car is really, really impressive. And uh, it's the Cybertruck, it's a meme. Kaboom? We can't. What, what's Kaboom? I mean, Kaboom, we mean, we mean Crash, we're going to drive, no. We're gonna drive that thing. We do not have any motor sounds. <laughs> That's so great. You know what? The, this is actually pretty close to what I would say it sounds like to drive a Tesla. It's just so peacefully calm. It's it's really comfortable. I have this exact experience, but oh man, it's, this is the four hours. It's the tuning shop. It's the tuning shop. Please, we can tune it. Oh, 
Okay, there's so... <laughs> there's no racing development. <laughs> Let's take this one here, we're playing as like the cops. Oh, the one, no, the one here is way better. Big wings! What do we have for big wings for the Tesla? Okay, we're not that far uh, right now. Take this one here, it fits really well with the Tesla. Up caps! Um, oh, we have some new HRE. This one here looks cool. This one too, we're taking this one here. Now we have hoods. I mean, the Tesla definitely needs a hood. Even it's actually kind of stupid having a hood on a Tesla since there's no reason for having an air intake or something, but it just looks so, so stupid. I'm gonna take this one here, kind of looks like a penis. Roof scoop, no, but we need brakes. Of course, there's only one real producer, it's Brembo. If you ever need brakes for your car, actually just take the official supplier brakes, but if you don't want them, Rambo's the way to go. So we need something for the engine. Okay, we can't upgrade the Tesla here. Same goes for transmission, I guess. No transmission, we can. That's great. Wait, there's a max power button. Wait, um, back? No. Back. Max power. Yep. Oh, it just. It, that's so cool. Supercharger. <laughs> yes, we want that all. Now we go for the visuals. Paint. First of all, does it have to be pink again? It is pink again. Like, there's no reason why we shouldn't take just pink Tesla for a ride. We need the rim paint to be black, so I guess. No, no, no. Is there is there some light green? This looks super awful. We take this one here. Vinyls. We certainly have some cute vinyls here now. Community. <laughs> the Tesla Pro Wish. <laughs> oh man, this would have been so great. We're going for the, we're going for the fox like this this time. Car looks so terrible. It looks so terrible, and I really love it. Oh, with that we already have window tint. I don't care. Crew detail. What do we have for crew decals? I mean, shit. <laughs> Kurumin Elgato. <laughs> Can we please be sponsored by Elgato? Hip hop round instant gaming. LPN at 05, Riolu, AK, Shinio, Slap, Donut, Black Box, Top Gear, Bizarre, Fake Taxi, <laughs> Only Fans. Okay, we need that Fake Taxi. We need it. And we also need one on the. Can we have one on the rear window, please? And the Fake Taxi. Imagine having an episode of Fake Taxi with a Cybertruck from Tesla. Imagine just numbers. So we just add 69 just because it's a. Uh... Actually, no, we don't. Well, we have custom gawks. This one looks really good. Big eye, a bigger point, Horizon Reboot Turismo, stuff like that, Sonic. They all look really cool. We're just going for the Pepega aim. We have to see. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. That's fine. That's really fine. Okay, I present to every one of you, since we are at the end of this episode, the Tesla Cybertruck Pepega Fake Taxi Edition. <laughs> don't tell me that you don't like it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is so funny. Like, 
uh, drop definitely a like on this video if you really like this car. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. At this point, I would say thanks for watching. We're gonna see us in the next episode right on the street with the cyber truck. Until then, have a great time. I'm Caponator, and I hope to see you back soon for another video. Ciao! Honey, I'm a perfect 10, whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect 10, whoa.